Now looks can be deceiving because here's a simple looking integral that's actually pretty demanding, but we'll make sense of it in this video. Yeah, cool. Now I wanna do this quickly, so let's get started. Uh, to start, make the substitution the u equal root 10x. With that handy, squaring both sides, we can write the u squared is equal to 10x. And then taking tan inverse of both sides of this last thing we wrote, we can write tan inverse of u squared is equal to x. Now, notice we already have a replacement for root tan x, namely u. But we also need a replacement for dx. And so then we're going to take the derivative of both sides of the last thing that we wrote so that we get a replacement for dx. Um, the derivative of this left side, tan inverse of u squared, is going to become 1 divided by uh, 1 plus u squared squared, and then by chain rule times 2u du. And then, of course, the right side here will have derivative dx. Beautiful because now we've got our replacement for dx, namely that. Yeah? Cool. So then we're ready to rewrite our integral. Our integral then can be rewritten as the following. We can say that our original integral is really the integral of um, root tan x is u, so u, and dx we just said is this, so times um, 2u, ugh, that's a small u, 2u du, and then all of that divided by 1 plus um, u to the fourth, yeah? Cool. And we can clean this up a little bit and write instead 2u squared du divided by 1 plus u to the fourth. Now, there are three places where this solution is very clever. Here's the first place. Uh, the first inventive part of the solution is rewriting this integral as two separate integrals. And here's how. We write it as u squared plus 1 divided by 1 plus u to the fourth du and then plus, I'll color code it, the second integral will then have to be this, which is u squared minus 1 divided by um, 1 plus u to the fourth du. Yeah? Cool. And we're going to work on these two integrals separately, um, but they're going to follow a very similar path. Uh, let's say that this black integral is a and let's say that the uh, blue integral is b. Then we'll work on a on the left, and a uh, will have the same start as b. To start, we're going to take uh, the numerator terms and the denominator terms and divide them all by u squared. We're going to divide everything by u squared in the black integral. And the blue integral will also have a similar start, so we're going to start by dividing all of these terms by u squared. So let's start very similarly. So the black integral a is going to turn into um, 1, because u squared divided by u squared is 1, and then plus 1 over u squared. And then the denominator will turn into, again, we're dividing by u squared, 1 over u squared uh, plus u squared. And this, because u to the fourth divided by u squared is u squared, and then du. And um, let's do the same with the blue integral. And so the blue integral b is going to turn into 1 minus 1 over u squared divided by, uh, sorry, I abandoned my ruler, um, divided by 1 over u squared. Uh, that's slanted, sorry guys. Very picky about my writing. 1 over u squared plus u squared du, cool. Now, here's a second time that the solution is clever, which is in A, we're going to make a substitution that first feels random, but is very intentional. 
we're going to make the substitution the V, a new letter, uh, be equal to U minus uh, 1 over U. Why do we want this? Well, look at what DV is going to be. DV would be 1 minus the derivative of 1 over U is negative 1 over U squared and then du but we we're not going to write minus minus we're going to write plus right so if we do we're going to write 1 plus 1 over u squared du hmm look at that that's the same as that so that's got to be convenient but furthermore b squared is going to be u minus 1 over u all squared let's work that out that's going to be u squared minus 2 plus 1 over u squared. And then looking at this, we notice that what I just circled is merely v squared plus 2. So it's convenient in a couple of places. So this is a very clever substitution. And so with the same thing in mind, right, with the same foresight, we're going to make a substitution and b, uh, but this time with w. And w is going to equal u plus 1 over u. And the conveniences are very similar to the substitution of v. With this substitution of w, we see that w squared uh, minus 2 is going to equal 1 over u squared. You can work this out more carefully if you want, plus u squared. So this here is w squared minus 2. Nice. Just how this is v squared plus 2. Yeah? Cool. And then um, we also have dw equaling 1 minus 1 over u squared du. So we see that this fella right here is the same as that, that fella right there. So nice. Uh, where to from here? Well, I think we're ready to finish the stuff we started. Um, first, our black integral is going to become the following. Now, before I start writing, let's name this numerator of the black integral alpha so that I don't have to do so much writing. So then A, the black integral, will turn into, uh, that's too big, alpha divided by, and as I said, this is just v squared plus 2, right? So we have alpha divided by v squared plus 2 times du. Well, du, based on this, is going to be dv divided by alpha. How nice. Boom, boom. And then similarly, on the blue integral, b, we'll have that um, if we call this here beta, we'll have beta divided by, as I said, this here is w squared minus 2. So w squared minus 2. And then times, uh, and then du using this is going to be dw divided by beta. So dw divided by beta and boom, boom. So uh, we have a much, much nicer uh, integral or two integrals to deal with than we started off. So we don't need that. So let's get rid of that. So our black integral has turned into the following, which is it's turned into simply dv divided by v squared plus 2. And then our blue integral has turned into simply uh, dw, dw divided by w squared minus 2. This is a great place to be because, yeah, like this, these are much easier to deal with than what we had had before. So we just got to make room uh, for them and then we could finish the job we started a while back. Uh, let's see, we don't need any of this junk. I'll remind you of what W and V were uh, if you forget and we see it crucial to remember them. Sorry, I don't want to erase like some of that. Okay, cool. So um, if we move this up, because it's really like, oh, that's important, right? And I guess if you want, um, I erased a little too much here. I could just rewrite you know it doesn't really matter but okay there uh, and then it's 1 plus u to the fourth if you cared aesthetic <laughs> all right okay all right now look here look here so this here right um, is tan inverse screaming tan inverse everywhere 
uh, first, uh, to make you see it, we can factor out a one half. And right now I've done very similar integrals to this one, so I'm not gonna go in, uh, in detail through it, but yeah, dv divided by, and we could write one plus uh, v over root two um, squared. And then this here is gonna require partial fraction decomposition. And doing that, we could write, uh, first we could just write dw divided by uh, w minus root two, and then times w plus root two. From where we are now, um, this guy, as I said, is easy enough to finish. It's going to become root 2a, that is, root 2 over 2, and then it's going to be tan inverse of um, v over root 2, and notice that you could write that as uh, 1 over root 2 times uh, v, right? And so we could write that. And then the blue integral, if you do the partial fraction decomposition correctly, is going to turn into root 8 over 8 um, times the integral of, well, sorry, we would have integrated it. So root, root 8 over 8 times the natural log of, I meant. And it's going to be the natural log of um, w minus root 2 divided by w plus root 2. And then, of course, plus c. Yeah? Cool. So what's left? What's left is to recall that v is equal to uh, u minus 1 over u and that w was equal to, and I'll keep the same color as before, w was equal to um, u plus 1 over u. And then recall that u itself was root tan x. So all you have left to do is replace this v with that and then this w and this w with that and then replace the u's here and here with root tan x if you do all that right then you should get the final answer which is this and i really didn't oh i didn't mean to spin it um okay i really didn't want to do this which is like write all of this cumbersome stuff so i'll just leave the final answer out right here yeah Cool, so the final answer is going to be right here. Ah, sorry, I'll box it using a ruler. How about that? I'll take the extra time for that. So the final answer is right here. Yeah, cool. All right, take care.